that's interesting. It just told me it was being recorded. Yeah, and it asks me to either join or continue or leave. Oh, so you have to have permission now to record. You do. You have to have permission to record a, record a, a Zoom meeting. You do. You okay. learn something every day. I'm not, I really do. Every day things are changing and I'm like, oh, look at this. Now there's a new thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. I went to Facebook and I'm in the spiritual expansion and conscious evolution, but it doesn't have a share button. Okay. Well, I am recording it. Well, I've yeah. got people that are, you know, hopefully like there. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully. But, yeah. Hopefully. Well, they said they would be. Okay. Yeah. And I thought, like, maybe after it's done, you can share from the group. I'm not positive if while we're okay, going. Well, I'll, I'll watch out next time about how I announce it then. Sorry if there's any confusion. Oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have it in your personal, I see. No, because this was straight to the group. Oh, I see. Okay, well, then. Okay, well, yeah, um, just as people are coming on, please um, say hello. I'll try to keep comments in front of me so that I can see what's going on. Um, yes. And welcome, 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 welcome to our share today. Very excited um, as we are connecting lots of good energy today. Yay. Um, so, Emma and I have shared, um, what is this, our fourth time? Maybe more? I don't even know. It's been, it probably feels like more than it has been, but yeah. I guess this could be our sixth, you know? Oh, wow. There you go. I, think so. I could be wrong. I'm often wrong. <laughs> no, I think we did start at the beginning of the year, though. I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. So yeah, and then um, David, welcome, welcome. To glad oh, thank to you. It's here. nice to work with you again yeah. and Emma for the first time. So this is great. Thanks for having me on board. You're welcome. Okay. All right, Emma. So do you want to kind of, um, yeah, you're going to lead us off. What, you want to tell everybody kind of what we're opening up to today. And then um, David, you can share a little bit too about what you'll be doing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, beautiful, thank you. Yeah, so um, in my energy field at the moment for me, um, I've had a lot of opportunities to really think about my vessel, my physical body, what it is I like about it, what it, there is that I don't like about it, and um, you know how the, the vessel carries our soul, it's our vehicle, it allows our energy and our soul to be on this earth and it allows us to bring our magic into the earth and oftentimes we, we forget about the vessel itself mm -hmm. and um, we forget about how the quantum works through the vessel. And so really for me at the moment, it's been about how I honour my vessel. So not so much in terms of what I'm feeding myself, what I'm um you know what i'm exercising or you know things like that just just how i honor my vessel mm -hmm. for how it is and what it is in this moment and every moment um you know not worrying about how i think it should look how i think it should be but just honoring it in that in each and every moment and today i'm bringing part of the meditation through so that we get to really connect with our vessels, honor our vessels for what they are in this moment. And just realizing that um, without the vessel, we wouldn't be able to create the, the new earth. We wouldn't be able to create our realities. Um, and we're gonna parallel jump to a um, parallel universe, a quantum jump, sorry, to a parallel universe. And we're gonna check out some of the um, vessels and vehicles that are floating around that we can jump into. And we get to learn um, different things from different vessels. Um, and then we get to bring that, that wisdom and that magic back into this current vessel. And with the, with the intention of 
upgrading and unlocking uh, light codes. So yeah, that's me. Thank you. Paul Barry Sheldon, so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a lot really. Just that's a little bit good. of a pop over. Yeah, just pop over. <laughs> just go to this, you know, galaxy over here. <laughs> Pop to the Universal Tesco. <laughs> All right, David, did you want to go ahead and share about your part and what you'll be doing? Oh, thanks, Amber. Yeah, um, what I will be doing is opening the group Akashic Records. And uh, we all have a, a group consciousness that's part of being here and present in this. And, and this will also go for anybody that's in the replay too. And the whole idea of that is that just like group consciousness, if you do a group meditation, there's a lot of times that you can be elevated because of the group. And because we have a lot of high vibrational people that are here with us uh, by tapping into that, the Akashic records of this group, not the individual, but the, the group, uh, records, what we'll be doing is uh, connecting with the energy, that higher vibrational energy, and from there, be able to do more healing. So as both of you do the meditations, I'll be doing, I'll be holding the space um, for one, you know, your meditations are blow mine away any day. So <laughs> both of you. Um, so uh, it's better for me anyways, because I'm a lot of times the work that I do is in silence. It's more feeling. So it's like when I'm, if I'm in a meditation and I'm starting to do talk, um, you know, it kind of throws that vibration off. So my purpose here uh, that I see is to hold the space and to bring in the highest vibration possible for everybody here. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. And I've been doing this work for like 22 years. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to mention was that, uh, when, when I first started doing this type of work, it was like, I really saw where we could be doing this type of the work that we're doing right now. Um, and finally it's, but I saw that like 20 years ago about being able to open the records of a group. Of course, back then it was pre-Zoom, you know, and all that you, you kind of, I saw it as more of like being in, being present in a group, but you know, this works really beautifully too. So I appreciate being part of this. This is a wonderful experience. And both of you are lovely ladies. And I really, I just can't say enough about both of you. Aww. Thank you, David. I honor you so much. And I honor your medicine. And I honor you and, my, and your medicine. And I am grateful to be here with both oh, of you. And yes. uh, as Emma does the first part of the meditation, then she'll hand it over to me and I will safely bring us back down to earth and anchor everything back into earth and our earth star and lock us back in with all of those new codes and activations so yes yeah that's beautiful so yes so, everyone wants to get comfortable and you know make sure to have some water nearby and um, be in a relaxed position you can sit in a chair or you can lie down um, however you feel most comfortable David, did you want to say something? I'm sorry. Yeah, um, I, whenever you're ready, I'll go ahead uh, and open the records. I'll, I will do that uh, by not being recorded, though, during that particular time. Um, if that's cool, whenever, whenever we're ready to begin. I just wanted to point that out. Oh, OK. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I think if you want to go ahead, David. Um, OK, I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, and of course, um, while David is um, working quietly in the Akashic Records, um, both Amber and I will be bringing in the Reiki energy as we do. And again, work in the background. So there's a lot of background work going on when one of us is speaking, is supporting with the Reiki um, and the light language that comes through. So. All together, this, um, this really is a coming together of so many vibrations and so many different energies that it's just gonna be mind blowing. So yeah, I hope everyone enjoys. So I'll, I'll get, get cracking, shall I? Yeah. Yeah, okay, everybody. Well, 
you guys know what to do. You've just uh, heard the information. And we're just going to allow all that information that you've taken on to just fall away. As you begin to bring your awareness back into your bodies, starting with how you are sat or how you are lay. Just making sure that you are really comfortable. And just noticing any uncomfortable tension. Just allowing your body to shift and move until you can find that perfect, comfortable position. And now bringing your awareness, your consciousness into each and every muscle in the body. And by consciousness, I mean your thoughts, bringing your thoughts into each and every muscle in the body. And when you do this and you command your muscles, they will begin to relax. So just moving through from the top of your head down through your face, giving each and every muscle permission to relax. Just feeling how your muscles respond as they begin to release tension. They begin to feel heavy. Just relaxing now your jaw your neck, your shoulders, relaxing, relaxing, down through your chest and your abdomen, your arms, hands and fingers, relaxing, relaxing, allowing tension to melt away, allowing the muscles in the abdomen, in the hips to relax, relax, relax. The muscles in the legs, the lower legs, the feet and the toes, relaxing, relaxing, giving permission, and just noticing how the muscles respond. as each and every muscle in your body, from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, is relaxing, feeling heavy. And now taking some beautiful deep breaths, consciously aware as the air enters in through the nose, breathing in deeply and out through your mouth, relaxing even further. Another deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Relaxing and allowing the mind to relax, allowing all thoughts to float away like clouds on a breeze and giving unconscious mind permission to come online. Another deep breath in through your nose. and out through your mouth. On this out breath, fully relaxing, letting go and surrendering to relaxation. I invite you now to bring your awareness to the soles of your feet, 
as they stand on the earth, visualizing beautiful, magical tree-like roots growing down through the earth, down, down. The deeper they go, the more relaxed you feel. Deeper now through all the layers of the earth. Deeper and deeper, finding your way to the darkness that is the womb of Mother Earth. In this space, you are lovingly held. And in this space, you find the heart of Mother Gaia. You can feel the pulsation of the heartbeat. And you can see a beautiful orb of light. Mother Earth calls your roots and gives you permission to anchor into her heart. And as you do so, instantly finding yourself grounded and rooted, safe and secure, safely held an unconditional love as we can now move around in the quantum realms in security as Mother Earth holds our vessels. And now just finding yourself in a magical ancient woodland surrounded by big, tall, ancient trees, feeling the energy and the vibrations from these ancient times, feeling the soft earth beneath your feet. Hearing the birds and the trees, and the gentle flow of water. And as you look down, you see you are stood on a path. I invite you now to begin your journey along this path. Deeper and deeper through the ancient forests deeper and deeper into meditation, feeling relaxed and calm, continuing this beautiful journey and eventually finding yourself in a clearing. And in the center of this clearing, you notice a stone building. Continue your journey. And as you do so, you find stepping stones leading to the stone building. Now taking your journey to each step, one by one, counting down, 10, nine, eight, deeper and deeper into relaxation, seven, six, five, four, three, Deeper and deeper into the unconscious mind. Two and one, finding yourself in front of this stone building. There's a doorway. Just stepping over the threshold, through the door and finding yourself in this circular room There are stones on the floor. 
And there are stones surrounding you, making up this circular building, this circular room. And this room is empty. But this room has a very large window. And this large window allows a beautiful bright beam of light to cascade through. And this light is not sunlight, but a magical kind of light filled with different colors, shimmers, iridescence, filled with energy and magic. And you are drawn now towards that window. And as you stand in front of this window and bathe yourself in this beautiful energy, you begin now to think about your vessel, your physical body. And just taking a moment to think about all of the issues you may have with your physical body. Thinking about how your body hinders you. Thinking about the things that you don't like about your body. As you begin to think on these, you will notice emotions beginning to surface. Just allowing now your unconscious mind to bring these emotions up to the surface so you can see them. You can see the shame, the guilt and the fear. You can feel and see the low self-worth. And now just allowing your unconscious mind to show you where these limiting beliefs come from, showing you the root wound. Just allowing for a few moments to witness what your unconscious mind would like to show you. Maybe seeing flashes of images, you may have memories come up. Just allow them to come to your mind. They may be painful. It's okay for this release to occur in this moment. Seeing all these limiting beliefs surrounding your body. where they were formed and why. These beliefs are not your own. And as these beliefs come to the surface, 
We acknowledge them and now we can transmute them. So just seeing these beliefs, transmuting into the love and the light that you can feel emanating from this window as you release. Also, honoro ki ihe nara ahi, honoro honoro shi he nara ka honoro shi hori i, oro honoro hoshi i nri i nra hari ko dro so honoro o, honoro shi he nri ka he sho sho ani i nri ka odro ho ho dro i nra sha, ori i nra honoro honoro shi he nra sho nra sho nra chu chu chu, i a he nra ko ho dro o. And just feeling as though a weight has been lifted as you let go of these limiting self-beliefs around your body. You are no longer too fat, too thin, too ugly. You are no longer too lazy, too old, too young. They are all gone, so it is, so it is. Now it is time to bring your awareness and your consciousness out of your physical vessel. And you can do this by just visualizing your consciousness leaving your body and floating through this light energy that you see coming from the window. Just see yourself now floating, floating up out of your body and through into this beautiful energy, floating through the window, out of the stone building, and finding yourself on the other side in a crystalline land. The beauty, the colors are almost incomprehensible. And just allow yourself to now turn back and look through the window from the other side and see your vessel standing there shrouded in light energy. This light energy fills your vessel and holds it in safe loving space for your return. Just taking another look at your vessel. Now turning away, beginning to float across this crystalline land Finally, now resting in the stillness and the peace. As we have now crossed over into a parallel universe. We are calling in now all the different vessels and vehicles from different universes and calling them in and asking them to stand in a line in front of you. And you now see different vessels beginning to appear in front of your eyes. Some are taller, shorter, fatter, thinner, muscular. Some are animal. Some may look humanoid, but just not quite human. Just allowing all of these to appear in front of you without attaching to an outcome, without expectations, just allowing your mind to show you and reveal all these different vessels, all these different vehicles for your soul. 
One of these vehicles will stand out to you more than the other. And again, without judgment or expectation, just allowing yourself to gaze upon the one that draws you. And the more attention you place on this one vehicle, the clearer it becomes and then all the others disappear. So you are left with this one vessel. Not necessarily the vessel you think you want, but the vessel that you know you need the experience from. And bringing your awareness, your consciousness now in and settling into this new vehicle, this new vessel. Just taking a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth as you allow your consciousness to settle within this new vessel. And you can look down at your new vessel. Check out your arms and your hands and your fingers, your legs, your body. Just noticing how it feels. Do you feel stronger? Do you feel weaker? Just noticing. I'm going to leave you here for a few moments as you experience life in this new vessel. Just allowing this vessel to take you where you need to go, to show you what you need to see, to experience what you need to experience in this moment. Just allowing it to flow without expectation.
now it's time to end the experience within this other vessel. As you unlock the light codes that you need to bring back with you. As you have seen what you need to see and the realization that the vessel in this current life is exactly what it needs to be for you to carry out your sole purpose. And the realization that without your limiting beliefs, your vessel is right and true and perfect, just how it is. And the only upgrades that we need are the ones that allow us to contain higher frequencies and expanded knowledge and our ever growing conscious awareness. And so thanking this vehicle for the experience it has given you today, as you bring your awareness, your consciousness out of this vessel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just bringing back now your consciousness towards the window once more, bringing back this newfound wisdom and the light codes that will upgrade your vessel so you may contain all of your soul's frequencies in this moment. Now seeing your vessel from the other side of the window and really appreciating just how beautiful and perfect it is in this moment. With this urgency of wanting to get back into this vessel as it is so perfect and so right. You've actually just expanded your consciousness so that you can see your vessel in the beautiful light that it was meant to be seen in all this time. Now passing your consciousness back through the window and finding yourself just hovering in front of your vessel and handing over now to Sister Amber to continue your journey. Taking a moment to just be still. Again, just allowing your vessel to really anchor in, to upgrade. As you see your conscious energy now as a beautiful golden ball of light is now above your crown. And I want it to just hover there for a moment, just allowing that energy to slowly start to come over your crown, pouring over your physical vessel like warm honey.
feeling as this beautiful golden light now just comes in down your face. Just really slow, intentional energy. Now in through your throat. Really activating your throat chakra. As the guides and the angels here are just activating a new level of consciousness and self love. activating an internal dialogue within you. You've now broken free from all of those past confining messages that you were once telling yourself. You are love, you are beauty, you are the divine. You are love, you are beauty, you are the divine. You are love, you are beauty, you are the divine. As we come down into your heart, I want you to just really be intentional in your heart center placing your hands on your heart, allowing those words that were just spoken to fully anchor into your heart now. As this golden energy comes down, filling your heart space, filling you with gold, true gold that you are of your pure worth. Taking a couple deep breaths into your heart space. And I invite you to move your hands down now into your solar plexus, right above your belly button on your stomach. Shu 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 Just a slow, sweet love song coming back into your solar plexus coming back into your soul. Coming back into this place, once again, this chosen vessel, this chosen time, this choice that you made to be here in this moment fully being in this moment with your soul, with your higher self, with all of your angels and guides present.
And the guides are especially giving a healing now to the women in the solar plexus, just around the shame and the guilt that we carry around our midsection, that we carry around this message that having excess in this section of our body is somehow less than. This is a collective message that we are now just transmuting. Giving thanks to our beautiful midsection, giving thanks to the power of life, giving thanks to the incredible power that comes from this part of who we are. The spark of life, the spark of who you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As we come now down into the sacral center, this beautiful golden energy is now just anchoring in to your sacral center and activating a level of creative consciousness anchoring into your divine knowingness and into all of these timelines that were collapsed today. We're bringing this back into your creative core. The divine masculine, the divine feminine, giving thanks for these balanced energies within our hips and within our sacral center. the power in which we create each and every day with which we, we manifest our life in any given moment. Breathing deeply now into your sacral center. Just filling up your physical vessel, holding that breath as long as you're able. When you need to release, it's okay. If you're able to stay here, Give it a few more seconds and release. Mm. Feeling all of that beautiful golden energy coming down your legs now, going down through your feet and through your root chakra. As you see those beautiful roots now becoming golden, that golden energy is going down now into your earth star and is activating, activating all of your earthly timelines that were healed today, all of your generational timelines that were healed today. giving thanks, gratitude, and love to all of your earthly guides that were here today, to all of your ancestors that were here today, supporting you in your healing. Sending love out now to all those that connect through this particular meditation. Sending love now and gritting out into beautiful Mother Earth. As there's now golden cords of light spinning, spinning around the earth, connecting us all, connecting our energies 
anchoring in this beautiful healing. You're watching now as the earth becomes golden itself. As you see the truth of your creation and your reality all around you. And now this golden energy is coming back in and it's becoming a spiral becoming a spiral around your physical vessel. And as it spirals around you, it's just anchoring in all the beautiful work that we've done today, spiraling back down into Mother Earth and coming back into her core. She gratefully receives all of this beautiful energy. Giving love now, she sends her support to us through your roots, reminding you that you can always anchor back into her, that you can always anchor back into this energy, this medicine, this love, that is solely through your intention, and that that is enough. We're just slowly going to come back now. We're gonna come back now into this present moment. Slowly coming back into your physical vessel. Just allowing now yourself to come in, start moving your body as you feel led to, stretching out. Once more, we give gratitude to all of our guides, angels, the many planets, our lifetimes, giving gratitude to our higher self. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Let's get unmuted. Okay. <sighs> that was quite a journey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So many shifts. How is everybody feeling? Yeah, words. Hi. <laughs> Those things. Please let us know if you made it back. <laughs> how you're feeling, <laughs> how you're doing. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, share, share, share with us um your experience because it means so much for us to hear mm -hmm. 
you know, what shifts you've had, what experience you've had. Um, you know, it helps to make this super special for, for us also. <laughs> You'll agree with me, hopefully, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I had people saying they were watching at the beginning. I'm not sure. Uh, I do see us live still, so we can catch up on comments later, I suppose. I think so. And that's yeah. okay. Um, so yeah, uh, again, I did share a PayPal link and for anyone who feels called, we would absolutely honor you and love you for, you know, if you feel led to share a donation um, Emma and David, um, both have incredible programs and things. David's launching new ones. I know Emma has okay. some that have been going and is getting ready, I believe, to launch some new ones as well, right? Because you're coming out of a program. Just coming out of, um, it, it's one-to-one, -one. um, but I'm just... Um, expanding on that and creating a group master program um, that runs alongside the trauma to solve purpose. Yes. It's, it's all about um, learning about ascension and experiencing ascension for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I'm hoping to have that launched soon, but I keep adding to it. So <laughs> it could but stay be. Stay tuned because that's how spirit works. I'm going to put this in and then I'm going to put that in and then I'm going to, <laughs> yeah. So it will come when it's meant to. I know that for sure. Excellent. Thank you. <sighs> oh, young. He says, thank you. Feeling a lot lighter and more relaxed. Yay. There. We got some feedback. Somebody made a pack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and um, yeah, real quickly, David, did you also want to share just what it is that you're offering? Well, I would actually love to share what my experience was. Oh, okay. And if that, if, because it was such a big, huge shifts. Okay. Um, because both of you, both of you created a, a, an environment that was just spectacular for the, for healing. Um, with the work that Emma was doing, um, I could really feel it going deep, you know, like it was just like purging. And there was a lot of purging up to the point of, to the solar plexus. And then working on that solar plexus areas for, for the collective was just amazing because there was just so many releases. And then we went into the other world place and it was just like, whoa, it felt so spaceship-like, but, but energetically it was like really being, becoming very aligned with uh, a higher version of ourselves. So then Emma brought us back and that's, that's where, uh, you know, Amber then at that point took over and all of a sudden it was like the, not that that was heavy. It, it wasn't heavy once we went into the other world, but it was like when, when the bodies came back, they were so much lighter. Mm -hmm. And then when you were doing, when uh, Amber was doing that, that work, it was like, all of a sudden it was like the, 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 and, and Emma's got a lot of love energy, don't get me wrong, because but hers was purging at the beginning. And you have a lot of love that was just brought in. And I could just feel like the sprinkling of energy that came into the, into the bodies where uh, there was more room now. And the connection to the earth and the connection to the body. And I walked out, of, I, you know, like, by the time I was done, I'm like, wow, you know, this is just a spectacular... I, I love the roller coaster energy where it was just like mo moving. It was moving energy and bringing bringing it back in in a higher vibration. So that was that was pretty cool. And as far as launching anything, I'm just kind of at that point being quiet about that. I'm <laughs> the word. Yeah, I'm still working on the program, <laughs> but I appreciate that. Announced. Yes, to be announced. Yes. And it's going to be a spectacular spirit. program. And sometimes we think we're supposed to watch and then spirit's like, wait. And you're like, what? No, I, I sent you a, a, a little thing, but it's uh, it's not for public consumption yet. I love it. I 
<laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> that's beautiful. Okay. I really enjoyed. Thank you so much for uh, this today. It was great yeah. to be part of this. I really appreciate it. Right. So I think I'll go ahead and just end. And yes, again, if you um, want to share anything with us, please, please do. We love feedback. We want to hear how your experience was. If you need support, obviously reach out to any of us. We're here. And with that, have a lovely rest of your day. <laughs> All right.